ए हाय हेलो वेलकम बैक टू माय न्यू वीडियो गाइस संपत यू आर वाचिंग संपत सैमसंग पोको X3 कस्टम रोम रिव्यूज एंड दिस इज एवोल्यूशन X विद सो 6.1 सूर्य एज यू कैन सी विद मार्च 8th लेटेस्ट बिल्ड विद एंड्रॉइड वर्जन 12 एंड 5th फरवरी 2022 इज द लेटेस्ट सिक्योरिटी पैच अवेलेबल ऑन द कर्नल इज 4.1 4.190 क्विक सिल्वर पफ सूर्य कर्नल दिस कर्नल इज रियली गुड आई टेस्टेड मल्टीपल टाइम्स हियर and later i am doing this video i took little bit of time for this video that you will be noticing why i took it in the further part of the video and uh, build date is as i said it's march 5th build evolution surya user debug and synx status is enforcing and i have been running the cp throttling test from last 5 minutes 1 seconds and 8 milliseconds you can see here maximum is 160 and average is 154 and minimum is 136 not just these see the benchmark results for example geekbench scores here i run twice finite seven single score 1564 multi score should be at least single score should be 550 like that but it how it is and into the antidote benchmark results is really cool to have this scores so as you can see 3 lakh 57 thousands for poco x3 or nfc whatever you call You can see here, and temperature raise is just 0.9 degrees Celsius, and 3% battery drain has been noticed during this testing. And during this testing, gaming mode was turned on. It was continuously showing the FPS count. Hence, it little bit took extra time. But overall performance, you can see here the temperature raise and battery drop. It's nice to have this time for less. I mean, using that high FPS count also. And coming to dialer here. you will get direct video call feature and there is a call recording feature also but other person will notice that you are recording the call this how the call recording feature and google photos you will get unlimited storage that's not problem in this rom and also coming to safety net status it said as a unofficial rom let's see you will get passed very good even though it's an unofficial rom it's getting past safety net status hence you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay yono sbi pay tm whatever you want to use you can use in the rom it's going to working fine for example whatsapp everything will be working fine and i will say this is the one of the best rom why means you need to watch till the end of the video and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and also all the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and let's see this advanced restart button is also there and why these are in pitch black because there is a custom settings available i will be discussing that and into quick settings you can edit some of the options as you can see here and also screen recording options as you can see plenty options are available in this rom you can record both device audio and micro phone together and slow show stop dot long press to move it show touch the sun screen plenty options you can read here that's fine and working fine actually and coming into and there is little bit setup was also different i noticed you will get like pixel setup like this this time in this evolution x rom which is really good and it asks to install some of the apps you can untick the during the setup and flashing method is also quite similar in any rom and here also it's same just flash the firmware or you can skip the firmware also and just flash the rom and format that and reboot to system and coming to drm info you get level 1 certification out of the rom such that you can watch all the ott applications in hd resolution that's not a problem coming into speed test i have here 100 mbps geo giga fiber connection as you can see it's 92 95 mbps and let's go into settings and see the what all the settings we get in this rom first thing is you get the evolver settings here plenty of options are added that i really like for example the themes and monet engine you can use here black theme you can force black background colors that's really cool feature and you can use custom color white luminance chroma factor linear lightness you can adjust them even you can use the accurate shades from here you can enable or disable them headline body font icon pack signal icon style wifi icon style icon shape you can adjust plenty of options are 
included here coming to status bar you get plenty of options you can adjust them status bar items for example like these options you can enable or disable from here battery style you get plenty here left battery text you can enable here if you want to get it on the left side show data disabled icon use old style mobile data icon show 4g instead of lte volt icon view of icon override indicator plenty you can see here mic and camera privacy indicator you can even disable this also location privacy indicator and combined signal icons coming into notifications you get ambient edge lighting heads up notification sound effect notification header scale app button notification light battery light blink flashlight for incoming call and vibrate and call connect connect call waiting and disconnect those things you can enable or disable from here quick settings you get secure qs style record unlocking vibrate and touch edit icon running service icon battery estimates qs pull down qs footer warning small pull down show brightness ladder on bottom and even show brightness ladder in quick qs panel adaptive brightness button animation style animation duration title animation interval letter these things are included in quick settings coming to power menu you get advanced restart button and some of the options you can enable or disable from here into the gesture settings into system gestures system navigation here you can adjust the pill length not just that even the height also you can adjust here okay full screen gesture you can enable that i mean you can remove this also and advanced gesture options are also included here really cool but you can't increase the width i mean the thickness of the pill icon that's i'm hoping it will be added in next build and swipe to screenshot three finger is also working fine plenty gestures are given as you can see quick open camera quick tap playback control double tap swipe to screenshot and private and finger those are included in this room toggle torch when screen is off you can adjust them also and tap on lock screen status bar back on those also you can enable or disable from here into the lock screen settings you get force small clock always on display schedule you can change here as you can see hide qs in secure lock screen show media at media at blur level repel effect fingerprint authentication vibration and error vibration you can enable or disable from here into the button settings you get plenty of options here keyboard cursor control also you can adjust animations you get this kind of animation charging animation you can enable or disable from here into miscellaneous section you get game space it's available in plenty of the roms like dove face ancient all the type of roms have similar kind of here and you can choose here unlimited photo storage when you apply this you will get unlimited photo storage not just that unlock higher fps in games using this you can un enable up to 90 fps in smooth settings not in hdr hdr note that and also unlock higher quality streams if you enable this you'll get level one certification or more than that i mean hd full hd content you can watch in these particular apps they have mentioned and pulse toast app icon and you can see here plenty of options are given show cpu information and usb configuration and radio information plenty are given in this rom this is how the customization available in this rom and coming into app settings as i was speaking in every other rom here you get default apps you can choose whatever the default app you want and special app access here also plenty of option like picture in picture example plenty are given you can enable or you can change them from here into battery settings battery usage it wasn't recorded but has kept around 90 percent it's now 75 percent i played a little bit of bgma also and the setup in device everything the battery life is really good but little bit drainage has been noticed during the gaming mode turned on you can turn it off to get better battery life and battery temperature it's showing 44 degree celsius and adaptive brightness is also i mean preferences are also given extreme battery saver not given here that's skipping from some of the roms and display settings you get all the basic settings like dark theme as i said before you can enable that forced dark mode mm -hmm. and colors you get plenty of options keep it boosted a little bit better waving if you want even further there is display colors you can enhance them from here and refresh rate also working fine even scrolling speeds as you can see scrolling between apps using multitasking everything are working fine here as you can see they are working fine no problem regarding that wallpaper style go to change wallpaper you get plenty of wallpapers and at all wallpapers are pre-installed in this room no need to worry regarding that basic colors wallpaper colors dark theme app grid also you can choose from here accessibility menu is also 
working fine no there is no accessibility menu here there is no accessibility menu in this evolution x rom i hope they add in upcoming build coming to security feature you get fingerprint unlock face also face unlock is also given in this rom let me show you the face unlock how quick it is as you can see it's very very quick if i added fingerprint unlock or not let me test okay i haven't added fingerprint unlock but it's going to be working fine at the end i can show you and there is advanced settings here for example into screen lock no face unlock as you can see you can delete face model redo face scan and skip lock screen if you enable this it directly will put into i mean go into home screen if you disable that it will be stay on the lock screen that's simple and into system here also you can get these options or you can go into evolver also this is the customization and benchmark results what all i explained i hope you liked it and let's see the bjm gameplay here i am showing you the two to three matches in boot camp let's see this is around one of bjm in sanok many people requested that and graphic settings you can see a smooth plus extreme and 90 fps i'll do one thing this match i'll keep it to 90 fps and see how it will handle in this settings and definitely if you play in 90 fps for a long time you will get device get warms here we go into boot camp i forget to remove the auto matching but anyhow i forget to enable the let me enable FPS You can see here if this drop has been noticed it was not at all 90 percent let me exit the match you can see here the fps count is around 80 to 85 it was not 90 at all that's how it is so hence keep it in 60 fps for better gameplay let's see how it handles in this settings this second round first round i was not able to play let's see at least in this round It's not up to the level of 89 or 80, 90 like that. 87 was the highest FPS count you can see here. Keep an eye on that. It was now 90. okay it was dropped up to 40 now let's play in now i kept the graphic settings you can see here extreme not 90 fps it's around 59.60 same boot camp let's see how it handles I got gun, let's see, 
मिलेगा टेनिकल्स लेट मी लवर द वॉल्यूम लेट लिट टू लाउड it was close let me come out and that's how the gaming performance in this room let's see the charging animation now i have plugged in 33 watt charger also let me show you how it looks it just shows like that but charging speeds are fine enough Nothing face. Nothing has been written here. Let's see if it's ten watt charger. How it shows. Here also it shows recognizing face. And that's how guys. In this video, I hope I explained everything. And thank you for watching. This is a very good ROM. You can definitely try it out as a daily driver. Everything basic things and extreme things like BGM, my gameplay. and overall performance is also very good just the battery life is little bit i mean for that kind of performance you can give it out the battery life that's how it is this is the evolution x rom on this poco x and thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now